Uh, coming into the postseason, Green Run was averaging 47 points per game, and no team had come within two touchdowns of the Stallions. But the playoffs have just been different. A 17-12 win over Deep Creek, then an 18-10 win over Salem. The offense has been unrecognizable. Something's clearly off. It's hard to say what, but could the heavy favorites to win the region do it with defense one more time versus Indian River? We pick it up 7-7 in the third quarter. Keelan Adams going to catch this pass. The Virginia Tech commit did his best. 10 receptions for 77 yards, but that offense just could not get going once again. Kayshawn Farrar going to get picked off here by Indian River in the fourth. He's trying to make something happen, but it's just not happening. Again, trying to find Keelan. However, we pick it up Late in the fourth quarter, the Braves doing their part to keep this defensive matchup extremely defensive. The fumble, that's recovered by Green Run with less than three minutes to play in this game. But the Stallions would go three and out and give the ball back. Indian River, just six pass attempts in the contest. That's their only completion. Tyler Allison to Malachi Hilton to get in the field goal range. Noah Martinez, the 30-yarder for the dub. 12 seconds to play. Pandemonium. Chaos. It's like Philip Townsend's birthday out there. So that means 10 to 7. Indian River advances. You're going to have to get some eraser out because Green Run was penciled in all year. But it's the Braves who move on to the state tournament. And in that state tournament, they will play the winner of our other region final. Mari hosting Warwick at Powhatan Field. We pick it up with Mari up 7-0. I promise we will get to this highlight at some point. For now, let's just enjoy the beautiful, crisp uniforms and helmets of the Indian River Braves. We've been battle-tested. We've been, we come out of the Southeastern District, and we've been in some battles with some games, and it prepared us for tonight. We had to hear from Brandon Carr. Of course we did. I teased it, but now it's here. Mari versus Warwick. Mari up 7 nothing, punting from deep in their own red zone. It's tough to move the ball on these Commodores. That's one way to do it. Eduardo Rios Jr. with a dime to the corner of the end zone means it's 7-6. to six. Now, this Warwick defense, a lot of talk about them this week. One of the very best in the area. But Autori Newkirk, he's also one of the best in the area. The keeper there is going to make it 14-6. to six. And then on the ensuing drive for Mari. He's going to complete this pass to Devontae Floyd. Devontae Floyd is, is mid-relaxation here. He's on the ground. That would lead to a touchdown. 21-6. to six. Newkirk again. He says, this time, let me find someone on their feet. Make it a little less stressful. 28-6 to six after this touchdown to Eli Moss. Your final, 48-20. to 20. It is clear that Mari heard a lot about Warwick's vaunted defense. But they, they've only given up, what, 37 points all year? Um, what We scored 41 in the first half. Um, so my guys came to play. That's all we heard all week was about their defense. So um, I'm just proud of my kids for, I, don't, I guess you would say setting the tone. This is what we do. So, Mari, Indian River next Saturday. Class 2 Region A final. Pocosin hosting Amelia County. This is nearly picked off by quarterback Eli Tindall, but Ryan Burke would find the end zone with a little hurdle there. 7 nothing. Pocosin. Baker Green, they keep it on the ground this time, and he is moving. This is me getting through the 13 News Now news station when I am late to the studio. 16 nothing. Pocosin. How about the Raiders' response on 3rd and 38? They don't just get the first down on third and forever. They get the touchdown. This would make it 16-6. That's as close as the Raiders would get to the Bull Islanders. However, 57-18, Pocosin wins their third Class 2 Region A championship in the last four seasons. Now over 